All right, in this video, we're gonna look at the stopwatch that you can make in KOWP. I would not recommend using KWGT for this because the seconds will not update as often as they should. If you have used KWGT, you know exactly what I'm talking about. KOWP, it works fine. KLOCK, I'm pretty sure it would work just fine there as well. But I'm using KOWP. There's two ways we're gonna do this here. One way is with animations. That makes for a nice transition as we go from starting the stopwatch to stopping the stopwatch. And then we can also put this in a component. There's nothing wrong with a component. I have both ways set up for you here. This does require Tasker. I will show you the benefits of using Tasker for this. You may be able to make this in just the custom app alone. However, there are some benefits to Tasker in my opinion. I will show those to you as we go through this series. I will be making two videos for this. The first video will involve us looking at Tasker and setting these things up correctly. The second video will cover setting things up in the custom app, and in this case, KOWP. Before we dive into Tasker, let me show you how the stopwatch looks. So we have three buttons, the play, the reset, and the pause. I made this image in Affinity Designer, just a basic PNG image. And then here's actually the stuff in our custom piece. If I press play, it's gonna start at zero. And notice across the bottom, if you did not see that, it said stopwatch has been started or something like that. Now I'm going to pause or stop, same thing. And if you notice, it did change a color. We did have an animation and the green was on 13 seconds. That's where we are stopped at right now. One of the benefits of Tasker right now is that Tasker is storing that 13. And if I resume again, it's going to animate back to green and we're going to resume on the 13 second mark. And as you can see there, it did jump to like 14. You may notice that some of the numbers are jumpy on the screen itself. It does not look like that on my device. That's only because I'm emulating my cell phone, my Galaxy Note 8 to the computer. So there may be a little bit of delay there. So right now we're approaching the 38 second mark. I'm gonna press pause. Notice we have a red paused on 38. And technically what's happening here with the epoch time is that time is still counting on. But right now we're storing that variable and if I press play again, we're gonna pick right up from 38 seconds and our stopwatch will continue. Some other benefits of Tasker is this. If I press play again, Tasker's not gonna do anything. Stopwatch already going. So it's not going to reset. See what I'm doing there? It's not going to reset that. That's one of the benefits of Tasker. If I pause at 58 seconds, I can press pause again, and it's just gonna say stopwatch has already been stopped. Either reset or start the stopwatch. So we're paused on 58 seconds. If I reset, it's going to reset everything in Tasker. Stopwatch has been reset if you did not see that. And now if we press play again, we're going to start back at zero. Stopwatch has been started. So let me show you the component too. Right now this is a wallpaper, but if we make this in a component, which I have set up for you as well, we will see some stuff in here that's not a smooth transition, and that's the benefits of animations. So finally, before we dive into Tasker, let me show you the component. Now the component looks no different, honestly, as compared to the wallpaper. We're gonna see some numbers change as we go between the start, the pause, or the reset. We're gonna see some numbers that we don't wanna be seeing, but they're only gonna be there for a fraction of a second, and that's allowing that task and tasker to manipulate the new numbers, send it over to KOWP, and show that onto the device's screen. So let's press play. You see a minute and 13 seconds, but then it immediately went back to zero. That's wherever that time was in Tasker and then the math that I have going on in KOWP. Let's come on over here to pause. So we're pausing on 15 seconds and now notice it said zero, but then it said 15. So this thing's gonna be keeping on counting. Maybe it's somewhere around 20 or 25 right now, but I have paused it on 15. So notice we see 42, but then it jumped back to 15. That's the one downside of the component. I'm gonna pause it on 25. Notice it says 15, but then it says 25 because it's all of that stuff going on in the background between Tasker and KOWP and the way I have these things showing in the component. There's no way to really get around that in my opinion. 
unless you use animations in KOWP. We can incorporate some delays with our animations to give it time for Tasker and the KOWP to talk back and forth, do their magic, and bam, you can display it on your screen. So if I press play again, a minute and four seconds, but bam, it jumps right back to 26. I hope you see my point there. I want to pause it one more time on 35 seconds. So it shows something crazy, but then bam, we're back at 35. It's going to show something crazy, but now we're back at 36. I hope that makes sense there. Now if I reset it, it should start back at zero. We may see something for a split second, and then bam, it's back to zero. So finally, let's have a look at Tasker. And here we are inside of Tasker. I have a project set up. I've called it Stopwatch. This will be available in the Tasker files that you can find over at my website. And we have three tasks, Stopwatch Start, Stopwatch Stop, and Stopwatch Reset. No profiles, just three tasks. Stopwatch Start in KOWP is going to get triggered whenever we press our Start button. Stopwatch Stop gets triggered when we press the Stop button, and you guessed it, Stopwatch Reset is going to get triggered when we press the Reset button. So, what happens when we press the Start button? First, Tasker needs to ask itself, is percent stopwatch status, does it not match started? Now you can call this global variable here whatever you want in Tasker, just use capital letters, but I'm calling this SW status for stopwatch status. If it doesn't match started, then we want to set stopwatch status to started almost like a text global variable in KOWP. If it's not equal to that thing, then hey, let's set it equal to that thing. Then what we wanna do is we wanna create another variable, variable set percent epoch s. As long as you use a capital letter here, it will be a global variable and we do need it to be global. We wanna set this global variable to percent times. This is an internal global variable in Tasker and percent times is the current time in seconds since some time in 1970, January of 1970. This is epoch time. So when we press this start button, granted that stopwatch status is currently not already started, we're gonna set it equal to started and we're going to store the epoch time in seconds when we press the start button. That epoch S there is going to store that time in tasker. Then what we wanna do is a KOWP send variable. I called it start and we want to send over whatever that global variable is, epoch s. And again, that represents the time in epoch that we press the start button. And it's going to get stored until we change it. And then we have a simple flash coming across the screen. Stopwatch has been started. And if you're just getting started with Tasker, you can add all these various actions here using the plus, but you have to go in and type in these things that I'm showing here. So that basic flash is just a way of visually saying, hey, stopwatch has been started. Well, what if stopwatch status, what if it does match started? We don't wanna do any of this. That's what this else thing does. It prevents the task from running any of this stuff and all it's gonna do is flash stopwatch already going. Because if you press the start button and stopwatch status was already started, then we don't wanna run this again. We just wanna say, hey, it's already going. Let's stop the task. The next task, when we press the stop button on our stopwatch, Let's first test and see in Tasker. If stopwatch status doesn't match stopped, then we want to set stopwatch status to stopped. Then here's where another variable is gonna come into play. Percent add-on or whatever you wanna call that, what we want to determine here is how much time has passed from the current epoch time, that's this one over here, the built-in global variable for epoch time, how much time has passed since we pressed the start button, because this variable here is what we stored at the start button. Granted, we're just starting the stopwatch. It's gonna find the difference between them, which represents how much time has passed since you pressed the start button. Then we want to add on whatever add-on may be right now. So this add-on and this add-on, you may think they're the same. Technically, it is the same variable, but what's going to happen is this variable here is gonna get overridden with whatever this is. And this is what's going to allow us to continue starting and stopping, starting and stopping. It's going to continue adding on some time. And then we're going to do more math over in KOWP so that when we press pause or stop on some certain time in our stopwatch, this stuff's going to get sent over to KOWP because we're pressing the stop button. 
and that's going to add on more seconds, which translates to us being able to resume at that certain time interval. So now we want to take that percent add on that we have. We want to send it over to KOWP. I called it add on and make sure you send over percent add on. This can keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger if you keep pressing start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Add on will continue to increment. And then just a visual cue again, flash stopwatch stopped. Well, what if stopwatch status does match stopped? If it does match stop, it's going to skip all this stuff here and it's going to flash stopwatch has already been stopped or whatever flash you wanna do and then we stop the task. Last but not least, what happens when we press reset? Well, when we press reset, automatically we're not checking for anything. When you press reset, it's going to set the stopwatch status to reset inside of Tasker. Variable set, percent add-on, when we want to reset, that means we want to start back at zero, so add-on is going to be set to zero, and then we want to send that same percent add-on variable over to KOWP, and then when we start timing the math inside of KOWP, it's going to reset that time back to zero. And then just a visual cue, stopwatch has been reset. Again, you can set that with a flash. So this is part one, getting everything set up correctly in Tasker. Go ahead and add on these little icons or whatever icons you want because KOWP is going to ask you to set an icon if you don't have one set already. Part two will be coming soon where we actually create the stopwatch and do a little bit more math over in the custom app. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.